I have to put up my chicken yard. I've got all the project our products for the project to do, so stay tuned and I'll show you my way of putting in a chicken yard. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hans, and I've collected some materials from estate cleanups. I got them free. Uh, the free stuff I got was some post hole diggers. I'll share those with you in a moment, but I also got some fencing posts and I got some fencing. I hope I have enough to uh, complete the project today. I purchased a gate. I had it in my inventory, so we'll go ahead and mount it down here at the chicken coop. And then I've been scrambling around resourcing fence posts, and I managed to come up with two of them. I need two more to come up with, but I'll show you how um, digging the fence posts, setting them, and then tacking them. First of all, I have, I have three PhDs. Yep, three. One PhD is this post hole digger. It's just a regular deep shovel. I don't know the name of it, but I've been digging post holes for it, at least starting post holes with it, uh, for smaller posts. But these posts are pretty big, so uh, there is another post hole digger that I have in my inventory. And it's this post hole digger, that what I call the clamshell post hole digger. And uh, I've used this quite a bit, but you can only go so deep with this unit. Uh, it does do the job. It digs small holes. Of course, you can make the hole as large as you want with this one. But the mother of them, the one I used earlier today to try it out, was this one. I got this from my last estate cleanup. This digs deep. It just corkscrews down on the ground. I'll demonstrate in a minute. But this one I really like. There's another tool you might want to use when you're digging post holes. Uh, when you get into tough spots, like you hit rocks, roots, whatever, there's a breaker bar. What we call a breaker bar, it's long and it's got a uh, chisel tip on it. And that'll get you to where you need to go to get past the hard parts. Because sometimes you run into some hard pan surface, a really thin layer, and you just need to break through that to continue your hole. So this is always useful to have when you're digging post holes. Now, well, with working with the wire fencing, I got I have the fence tool. This is perfect for uh, working with the staples. You'll need to uh, attach the fence, the wire fence, to your wooden posts, and then also it crimps these and sets these uh, clips in place when you're clipping these to these metal T posts. So we've got two types of posts we're working with today, and also down here. On this feature that cuts the wire of the fence and you just need one tool it's got a wrench in it it's got a pry on it it's got all kinds of neat little tools and a hammer so one tool to fix the fences with and just keep it in your back pocket and you're ready to go now I have this four foot brown screen bottom gate that will suffice in keeping the chickens on the inside of the chicken yard I also have the hinges two hinges that it came with and chain for closing it and keeping it closed. So I'm gonna be attaching this, the hinge part of it to the chicken coop gives me a really stable base on which to swing the gate on. And then the other uh, side will be the post uh, to be able to just wrap the chain around and lock the gate. I'll go ahead and demonstrate uh, a couple of the uh, fence posts or the post hole diggers, because I need to place a, a corner post right here to come off the gate down here and then down to meet that other uh, post for the gate. So let I'll show you how to, you know, one way, another way, and then the way I prefer. With this shovel, you can start your hole. The ground is really soft and muddy, and that's when I, that's the uh, optimal time I prefer to start uh, digging post holes is when the ground is really muddy. 
The other option is the clamshell. If your ground is really sticky with clay, it's going to be a problem. But this is a tool I am preferring to work with. You just twist. Once it fills up with dirt, you just dump the dirt. And it just augers its way right down into the ground and you can make the hole just as deep as you want up to the depth of the handle. Now here's a hole I dug earlier. I'm going to put some cement in the bottom of the hole and wet it down and then we'll go ahead and put the post in and fill it up the rest of the way with water and cement. Now these are 60 pound bags of cement. I didn't think I would need any more than that just to get the fence post set. Okay, we'll pour a little on the bottom of the hole and then we'll set my post in there. And then finish pouring it in. I like to add water to it as I pour it. I'm just going to eyeball the levelness because I got my other post down on my fence line there and then and that should do it. I left the post tall because I want this this post tall for a reason. I'm going to post a little uh, solar powered act, uh, motion activated lamp here on both sides and then I'm going to use this as a sign post. You know I'm eccentric. We're going to have a sign going that way to the Capricorn Corrals, a sign pointing this way to go to the Bunny Bungalow, a sign going that way down to the Biddy Box, sign going that way to the Gobbler Gallery, and a sign going that way to the Goat Tell. Matt Rainey named it the Goat Tell. So I decided to keep in his honor I'll keep it the goat tail because I named my mountain after his sister, Misty Mountain. Okay, I'll go ahead and tap my holes for the uh, hinges. We'll mount the gate. We'll dig the other hole deeper, mount the fence post, get that cemented in the ground. We'll resource another fence post, get that planted in here. And I do have to put in another fence post over here, a brand new one. Uh, no, I'll use the corner of the gate got a fence post we're good so i just need to make sure i have enough uh, fencing wire fencing to be able to reach just this 10 20 30 about 35 feet that should do it now we're just going to go ahead and attach the fencing to the wood posts with the staples we're just going to hammer them in and i'll show you how to do that in a minute and then we'll just go ahead and uh, twist these clips on so these fence posts could hold the fencing up we'll make it nice and tight and uh, we'll be finished with the project.
And this year I only spent under $5 for this whole project because I just bought three bags of 60 pound bags of cement and they're about a buck fifty a bag. So that's all I spent. Yep, that's it. Keeping her cheap this year. Yep. Well, I want to thank you for joining me on this adventure of just putting in chicken fencing and the different post hole diggers you can use to do the job. Like I said, I prefer that twist one, the auger one. I really like that because you can get your holes nice and deep. And it digs a whole lot easier, plus you can get the dirt out of there a whole lot easier. Please stay tuned to new videos as I upload them. And... Uh, Click that bell icon, click that share button, click that <laughs> thumbs up button. Yeah, click, 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 click. Uh, leave a comment and always be safe and please always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next adventure.